48 minutes to go. And we'll be at Logan Material in Columbus, Georgia. Let's roll. they need 
and I'll show you the location where we're dropping and it'll all make sense. Two hours to go, 105 miles. Continue on Georgia 358 West for four miles. We go 358 to uh, 96 and at 96 all the way to Columbus. It's a nice ride through the country now. We don't get to see this where I live. It's all, you know, buildings and stuff and construction. Out here, it's really nice, really pretty. This is the house I wanted you guys to see. Look at this lake and this house and all this land. <laughs> Gorgeous. Today would be the day to be a rock or crush and run. That is that is pretty neat. Look at this structure in front of us. That is an incredible amount of conveyor belt. I mean, look at how it it just goes all over the place. This place is humongous. It's just never ending. Let's go ahead and put the drone up.
loading the rail cars. You got the conveyor belt bringing it in, dropping it on the top, filling up these silos, and then filling up the cars. I'm willing to bet these rail cars right here are the same rail cars that bring the material across to Savannah that I was unloading the other day in this video. Definitely cool. There you go. Say hi to YouTube. What's going on? <laughs> so this guy just walked up and he's like, hey, where y'all headed? Hey, you're that YouTube guy. So this guy out here, six hours away from me, watch YouTube videos, watch my roll-off videos. Pretty badass. All right, that is crazy. So this guy is in a truck. He's in a, a tractor trailer, 18-wheeler, if you can see in the mirror, with a, a dump, you know, the dump. Long dump. Crazy. Psycho people, man. I, that's scary to me. They call them end dumps. But uh, the problem with those end dumps is, you know, they go way up and you risk tipping over. So you really need to be careful with those. But really cool. That dude freaking like, yeah, I recognized you when I drove by. And he watched me with the trash truck. He watched the videos from the time that I was working with Atlantic Waste with their um, trash truck to roll off to then Atlantic, or yeah, wait, no, ABC Waste with the trash truck and then um, roll off with Atlantic Waste. And he was like, yeah, I remember when you got that new truck. And I was like, yeah, that's right. And now, man, that's cool. What a small world. I mean, it's amazing how that works. There I am, but I'm four hours drive from my house and I meet some dude who's not even from Savannah or from here who watches my YouTube channel. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. So, shout out to you, and I uh, hope you drive safe, dude. Be careful out there. Uh, so, we got this R3 once once again. We'll be picking up today. Um, I got a pretty good drone shot of that stuff that uh, you'll be able to check out, or that you've already checked out, I should say. And, um, yeah, I mean, that stuff... I don't know what's so special about it, but hey, whatever, man. Whatever pays the bills, and uh, we're happy to get to work. So let's get loaded up and head on back. I'm not gonna lie, that was loud. That was scary. That's a big giant water truck, sort of. It sprays the water to help keep the dust down. We're looking good. Um, yesterday we hit the truck stop for our 30 minute break at 11.30. So we'll, uh, we'll be a little bit ahead of that even though we had kind of a long wait just now um, to get loaded. Kind of a long delay, but not bad. Uh, I'm super stoked though that I met that guy. I met that, the, the uh, YouTube viewer. I think that's really awesome. Hey look, a Kenworth T880, just like us. Friday. Uh, but hey, so we ended the job with, um, we were contracted to get 140 tons for this job and we ended up having 140.6 tons. So uh, looks like we were a success. Now we just need to get these five trucks back home and deliver. And uh, that's a good thing. So Blue Max, you know, it's a really good company, but we're new in the Savannah area. We're trying to make a name for ourselves. 
So a uh, big job like this, it's a high dollar job. All these little things matter, man. Doing a job like this where other, other companies said, no, they're not gonna do it. They offered us a good price and we took it and we delivered. Um, and it's for a pretty, a pretty big company in our area that, that could use us a lot, you know? So we're getting there. Let's get to the truck stop and get some lunch. a scare we're an hour from the plant out here the turnaround point so we're three hours from the house we have six hours left of our duty day for driving I say duty day and I know there's another acronym for it and with trucking but because I was aviation it's duty day so I that's what's ingrained in my head so I apologize for sounding um, like a noob but I am a noob at this um, but we're six hours total left that we can actually drive. And we uh, just got a phone call that we're carrying the wrong rock. No fault of our own. We have the R3 rock on board. Um, we got it from the pile where we got R3 yesterday from. And I know that the guy um, behind me uh, an 18 wheeler that follows my YouTube channel even mentioned that that was R3, like um, MSA R3 or something like that. And like he was, I was like, what is this stuff? What's so special about it? He's like, I don't know. He's like, but they made this stuff specially for you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Now I don't know who he worked for. I didn't get to see the name, but he knows a lot more than what I know about this. All I know is I drive the truck <laughs> and go get what I'm told. So we just had to pull over on the side of the road. We found a place where all five trucks could park, could fit, um, where they're clearing out some land. And we sat there and waited to get final word. And uh, I guess they're accepting the load. Uh, but we already delivered 70 tons of this yesterday. And we got 70 tons on board today to complete the contract. And they, um, I guess our bosses talked to their bosses and it's working out, but it wasn't our fault. We got the stuff that's ordered. Um, yeah. So we're three, we're two, well, we're three hours, two hours and 58 minutes from the house, um, or from the drop off point, I mean, which is like 15 minutes from our yard, you know, our, when we're done for the day. So we're still about 20 minutes ahead of schedule, which is pretty awesome. We're an hour into this trip, it's not quite one o'clock. At one o'clock, we would be an hour into the trip, so we're 20 minutes ahead of where we were at yesterday. Uh, so we're doing good. We're gonna make one more stop up here when we get to I-16 at the rest area, regular rest stop, truck, uh, not a truck stop, but just a regular highway rest stop. Uh, do a quick potty break and then roll on. So I'm gonna go dark for a little while. We'll come back uh, when we get to the site there and I'll let you see what we got going on.
thought they were getting in the first place. Again, not our fault, their fault. Uh, we didn't do anything wrong. Uh, but we're coming up on it right now, so let's see what we got. we found our location to drop and so yep just gonna stockpile it easy peasy lemon squeezy I'm just glad we didn't have to bring this all the way back to Columbus in the morning and then get something else but we might be going back there and getting some more material so we'll have to see uh, we'll find out I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed some of the drives, some of the time lapse, some of the music. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.